Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus. Uh, this is moon, sun, and rising. Uh, regarding your love life for the middle of September, going all the way to the beginning of October 2017. Okay, so let's get into your reading. I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while now. Give me one second. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling out cards for you and then cards for the person that you're dealing with, the person that's coming towards you uh, for the middle of the month. For those of you currently in a relationship or any long-term commitment, again, uh, the, same, the same cards will be pulled out and we'll go from there. I'll give you guys some more clarity on that. So anyways, let's get into this. So your general energy for the month of the middle of September, I should say. 2017 is the six of cups so there's a lot of nostalgia there is a lot of feeling or looking towards the past yeah definitely missing someone wow what's going on with you Taurus okay things are getting better now I was starting to get worried there for a minute okay so then I will be pulling out your partner's cards Wow. Okay. All right. So the six of cups, there's definitely a lot to do with, again, like I said, nostalgia, looking towards the past or comparing your current partner with the person that you were in the past. Um, the six of cups can also represent uh, people from your past coming back into your life. I feel that for a lot of you Taurus, you guys have been dealing with that uh, the past couple of months. Now, the current situation or current circumstances is the tower. So what this represents, this has the tower has already happened. So for some of you guys, there was definitely an ending to a relationship. Uh, there's no doubt about that. For some of you guys currently going through it, for those of you that are, you know, married or in a serious monogamous relationship, committed relationship, uh, there is definitely the tower is definitely talking about the breaking of a cycle. Uh, so it could be for those of you guys that have currently been in a relationship, a long-term relationship with a person that's very toxic or a person that, uh, you know, has damaged you guys in any psychological way, there is the breakage of that, the releasing of that. Um, again, like I said, the tower definitely already happened because it is a general energy. So it could be residue energy from the month, the month prior or within this progression of the month, okay? So again, the tower is definitely endings for a lot of you guys. Now, the cards that are your cards, Taurus, is the five of swords. So there is a misunderstanding or a miscommunication or an argument, a fight with your partner. And then the five of cups here is definitely the mourning of a relationship or the loss, the mourning of a loss of a relationship. So there's two fives here. And with these fives, there's an inner struggle going on. Okay, so what I mean by that, fives are always a representation of struggle, struggle and strife. Uh, so it could be emotional, it could be mental. So what I mean by that is for some of you guys, you guys are currently trying the best you can to move on from the past, but you continuously keep being pulled towards the past. Um, sorry, you're trying to move forward and you continuously keep being pulled towards the past either because this person keeps coming, popping up back into your life. Um, you know, blaming you or offering you a new beginning but at the same time you tend to go back or give them an opportunity and then they prove to you why it would never work so there is like a, a inner struggle within yourself to accept that this no longer serves you Taurus. you need to let go of that and move forward now what you don't see at the what you don't see coming towards you is the, the six of wands so the six of wands is definitely feeling victorious feeling like you've actually achieved something it can also be a representation of finally feeling like when they reach out to you, you're no longer vulnerable to them. You're going to stand your ground and know your worth and move definitely forward, even passing them or surpassing them. And what I mean by that is a lot of things are going to start moving for you, Taurus, in, in the sense where they're going to start seeing or hearing about you progressing, doing better, abundant, uh, even making more money or having material things. For some of you guys, if you guys don't currently don't have a car, it could be purchasing of a new car. Anything that has to do with the material, 
And then they start noticing that and initially try to try to come back to you again. But again, at this point, right at the center with the six of wands, it's like, you know what? I've had it. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm moving forward. And then they're going to be left to actually see things for what they really are and mourn the loss of this relationship. Okay. Now the empress here next to the six of sword, I mean, the six of uh, wands, there's definitely abundance coming in for you guys, but it can also represent uh, you dealing or starting to deal with multiple people. Um, what I mean by that is different people start coming out, uh, coming into your life where you start socializing or you start becoming, uh, you know, a serial dater. And what I mean by that is giving the opportunity to more than one person. Um, which is going to do very, very good for your confidence because the, the Empress card is all about a person that's very confident. You're starting to feel like yourself. You're starting to feel how you were before you lost yourself in this relationship, okay? So that's definitely a good thing for you guys. Now, how this person sees the relationship. The Nine of Cups, there was an abundance here. So it was either you overindulging them with love or it could be a representation of them uh taking advantage of your abundance or your, you know, warm hearted heart, basically, um, taking advantage of your emotions, taking advantage of the fact that you were very giving to them in this relationship. And the five of pentacles is like, uh, being, they pretty much put you out in the cold or they mis disregarded you in a very nasty way. It could have been that, you know, it could be that they left the relationship or you found out that there was some cheating involved. Um, and again, it, you didn't, you definitely kind of foreseen this, but you didn't want to accept it. And finally you're being able to accept that. Now these cards definitely represent something very strong and prominent for me. The nine of Car the nine of cups is definitely a representation of wish fulfillment. So, Whatever, if you ever stop and think, what could I have done to make this relationship work out? You couldn't have done anything because you did more and above and beyond of what you should have done. And the fact that they took advantage of that with this five of pentacles, it just reiterates what I just said. You could have not done anything more because you put all your heart into the situation. And at this point, you need to let go of that. Okay. Now, they do definitely start to move forward. And when they start to move forward, it's perhaps because they kind of realize that you no longer want anything to do with them. But then you, they do have the justice card here. So the justice card could be a representation of them having to deal with their karma or you hearing that the person that they left you for actually cheats on them. Okay. And that's why this tower is at the current situation, meaning you realize all the craziness that came about in this relationship. They're having to deal with that now because they're dealing with karma, okay? Now, for those of you guys that are currently in a relationship, in a long-term relationship, there's definitely a loss in the morning of something. So perhaps it could have been that, that there is actually a physical death, uh, someone that passed away or recently passed away. And there's definitely arguments or fights within the family household that has to do or that is tied and connected to this loss, to, to this uh, person that passed. And with the Empress card here, know and understand that even if it seemed in the beginning or initially when there was this loss that was experienced, perhaps it was you that uh, put a lot of effort into, it could have been a parent, it could have been a father, a mother, a mother that passed away, uh, an uncle, an aunt, it's definitely a relative, it's someone within uh, your immediate family. And perhaps it was you the one that would do so much for, for this person. And at one point, maybe you felt like, no one really understood or no one really seen all the efforts that you put into that, uh, you taking your time to actually care or nurture, take care of someone. And with the Empress here, there's definitely a feeling of love and reciprocation here. So it could be that you start to, you know, um, spiritually feel their love, or you start dreaming about this person on a, on a subconscious level. Uh, where your creativity kicks in. And when that happens, you're able to tap into the spiritual realm. So pay attention to that. Now, the six of wands, there's definitely a feeling of victoriousness, feeling of achievement, but it can also be a representation of 
people giving you like good for you man you were very good to them you you really took care of them and all the time you felt that nobody really was seeing the efforts that you were putting finally people are starting to speak up about all the efforts that you put into the nurture and taking care of that person and again it's going to give you a boost uh, a feeling of you know gratefulness that they actually did see or notice that even if they didn't speak about it prior to that now the nine of cups here with the five of pentacles uh, in regards to your partner again this could be a representation of either them putting too much energy or too much thought into the relationship um where they kind of become very what's the word antisocial like they don't really want to socialize or they really don't want it could be that in the past you guys were dealing with a lot of emotional things going on again like i said it could have been the loss of a relative or something like that um where they where, where your partner has become a little bit antisocial not really wanting to socialize um feeling or or just you know having that what's the word when they're when they have too much time in their hands okay and this is going to end. This cycle is definitely coming to an end. For some of you guys, it could be that your partner hasn't been working for a while. And that's the reason why the five of pentacles, you know, the loss uh, or not having enough scarcity, uh, definitely prominent there. But with the nine of cups and the six of wands, there's definitely new beginnings coming in for you guys, not just for you, but also for your partner, where it could be that they move on and move forward towards um being able to receive blessings or even a job offer when it comes to finances now the justice card here definitely talks about having to bring about or look at the past or past behaviors past patterns anything that no longer serves them there's a need to go back to that and truly analyze what it is that triggers them or what it is that bothers them about how you react to certain situations it could be that either you're the one that's wanting to communicate when things are not working out and they're the ones to usually shut down and not really want to express um and if that's the deal with them then they have to go within themselves to try to analyze why is it that they completely shut down in order to make a relationship work it takes two people and two people need to be as open as possible when it comes to communication okay because there's definitely a need for that now again like i said the tower could be a representation of what has already happened uh, because it is a general energy um so again i feel that you guys are finally starting to put all the pieces together and start to rebuild again uh, based on the chaos that was left from either the loss of a physical loss of a person or just the loss of finances the loss even of a home perhaps for some of you guys um and you're going to start to see all of this progress and, and actually get better for some of you guys it could be a representation of the household where you guys were either kicked out or you guys were, you know, moved out. Um, and there was a lot of chaos uh, concerning this in regards to both sides, your partner and yourself dealing with a lot of finances, difficulties. But again, like I said, I definitely do see new beginnings for you guys. Uh, not just that, but the stability coming forward. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Light and love to all of you guys. Comment, share, and like my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And we'll see from each other in the beginning of the month. Bye-bye.